We're now days away from the release of iOS 26 to the public. An amazing update with a new design and of course a ton of new features and changes. So in today's video we're going into more details into the lock screen and the home screen of iOS 26 and I will show you guys every new feature that you will be able to find on your device on the lock screen and home screen running the new iOS 26. Starting with the lock screen and here of course one of the best new features will be the ability to see how much time you need to charge your iPhone. So right here just above the new clock design on iOS 26 you will also see the charge time. So 62% charged 16 minutes to 80 percent and you can see it will move back to the time and date when the iphone goes into the always on display but once i tap there to wake it up it shows me the charging time which is really really awesome and of course a very useful feature now of course right here we have the new design for the clock as well it is really awesome it looks great it makes your iphone look way more different from ios 18 and once you start using these like big numbers on the lock screen of your device you cannot actually go back to the like old style of the small clock it's really weird so let's go to customize here and let's go ahead and take a look at the other features we have of course we have the clock here but it's really interesting what apple has done here so we have this font the first one right here which will show you the big clock but if you move to the other fonts you won't be able to actually do that you will have to use this one of course you can make it thicker or thinner right here you can change it between colors and now with ios 26 you can also change here between the glass design which is this one or like a solid color that you can actually pick from here which is really awesome the glass design actually looks really awesome especially if you have a colorful wallpaper on the lock screen it makes it look really cool now another feature here on the lock screen of ios 26 are spatial scenes so basically having that 3d effect on the lock screen of your device you enable it by using this button right here now not all wallpapers that you set on your lock screen will actually be able to do that if one wallpaper can do that you will have this button you tap right there it enables that really cool feature that makes you can see right there the wallpaper move just right there beneath the clock it actually looks really really cool now the other thing you can do now with ios 26 on the lock screen is that you can change the position of the widgets now if you're using the big clock on your lock screen ios will automatically move your widgets to the bottom just above the toggles that we have right here but even if you don't use the big clock on your lock screen you can still do that manually so if i'm not using the big clock if i have the widgets right there i can just go ahead and simply drag them down here and have them there and it's actually much more convenient having the widgets right here at the bottom because when you're using your iphone with one one hand it's much much easier for you to actually just launch anything from here rather than just like scratching your finger right there and just like trying to tap one of the widgets at the top now another big change on the lock screen will be of course the new view for your music so you will have now full screen album arts for your music on the lock screen and if you're using apple music you will also have animated album arts which is actually really really awesome and that hopefully will come to other like music streaming apps as well but it again looks actually pretty cool having like these big big like album arts covering the whole of your lock screen next up we're moving to the home screen of course there's a lot that has changed on the home screen of ios 26. first of all all the icons have been redesigned some of them might not look that different but there is always something that has been adjusted with each of the icons of the stock ios app so all the icons are new here now of course we have the now transparent icons with a liquid glass effect and this as well the same goes here 
for the widgets which is really awesome and going here to customize the icons you will have a ton of different options so we go here we will have the default one of course the dark ones and then we have the clear option which you can use a dark mode or a light mode for or the automatic one and then you will have the tinted as well so we will also have that same option for tinted icons so light mode dark mode or automatic based on whether you're using the dark mode or the light mode on your device which is really cool now what is really amazing what apple has done with the last rc version they actually have added two new options here so now you can basically tint your icons based on the color of the case that you have on your iphone or the color of your iPhone. That is really, really amazing. That's really cool, actually. Now, you will have also these new buttons right here that allow you to switch between the larger and the smaller icons. And then you will also have this button, which will add a tint to the background of your home screen, basically adding a tint to your wallpaper. Now, this will automatically be enabled when you're using clear icons here, because if you have a bright wallpaper, sometimes it will actually be very hard to notice what you have on the screen and see your icons properly. That way, tinting the wallpaper, you can see right there, it makes the icons much more visible. Now, what's really cool is that we also have a parallax effect on the wallpaper on the home screen. Just like moving your iPhone, you will notice right there an object on the wallpaper underneath the icons will actually slightly move, which adds a really cool effect to your home screen. Now, of course, we have also a new control center with the liquid glass effects as well and everything else that Apple has added with the liquid glass design, which is really awesome. Now, what's really cool are like these highlights that we see around the toggles here that actually are active and move when you move your iPhone. The same goes for your icons as well and your dock and your widgets. We have that like, little highlight that we get on the corners and it moves, of course, as you move and tint your iPhone. Now with iOS 26, we also get now web apps on the home screen. So when you go ahead and try to add one of the websites from Safari to your home screen, you can now actually add it as a web app. So just enable it right here, open as web app. There you have it on your home screen. Now I can go ahead and open it and it's actually a web app, which is really, really awesome. Now, another really cool thing you can do with iOS 26 on the home screen is that now you can customize your home screen wallpaper from here without having to go through the lock screen. Previously, you had to go to customize the lock screen in order to change something for your wallpaper on the home screen. Now you just go to the edit mode and tap here on edit wallpaper. And there you go. You will have your options from where you can go maybe to one of the colors that it will suggest you or pick another wallpaper or add or remove the blur from the home screen wallpaper. So that's basically it for this video, guys. These are all the new cool features that you will find on the new iOS 26 on the lock screen and home screen. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that like button and subscribe for more. And I will see you guys on the next one.